of parents are waking up to the problems of the current American educational system. And when the Department of Education can't determine what a boy is or what a girl is, why in the world would any sane parent trust them with a math curriculum? We are regular Christian parents who found ourselves with children to educate, and we found that the options available usually fell into two categories. Either the education was, was good, but was lacking in the Christian department, or the Christian part was solid and the education was lacking. So we got a group of parents together and said, why not? Let's start Classical Christian School. When I was first approached with doing the school, being a teacher as well as having my son be a student, I, I wasn't looking for anything different. And this came along and it has been just such an answer to prayer of, of little things that we didn't realize that the school would then give to our son that we didn't know we were needing. And uh, there were just a lot of uh, benefits to coming to school, the programs that people could offer, um, some of the areas where I'm not the strongest in, some teachers were able to do it. And then they asked if I would be interested in helping to teach and I jumped on board. I began very skeptical, if I'm being honest. There have been a few days where, especially in the beginning, I wondered if I made the right choice, but it is the relationship and the fellowship that is fostered here that has taken away any of my hesitation or my fears. If you're trying to decide, is school right for my child? Is staying home? And, you know, I, I like that this kind of gives you a feel of both of those things. Like, I still feel in charge and in control of my son's education. Um, but I also know that maybe science is not the best thing that I can teach him. His science teacher comes in and can just help take that load from me and be able to help him. And. It's, it's been great. Uh, we want to be the tool to help you achieve what we believe is the most important job in the world, training up your children in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. They may be future pastors. They may be future politicians. They may just be a dad. They may be a mom. We don't know what the Lord's called them to. And the fact that I get the honor of being able to be a part of that journey and their education. It feels perfect for right now because I'm watching my son loved to learn. And I get that it feels like a risk to step out of what society says is normal because the normal thing is you put your kindergartner in school five days a week, eight to three, every day for the rest of their lives. And that's what you're supposed to do. But then you end up with an 18 year old that you barely know who hates every bit of school, who barely knows what they want to do with their future. And to be able to be a part of this, it's like I'm watching a dream that I didn't even really know was a dream kind of unfold. Our students love being here. Our teachers are excited. They are committed and they are here for the long haul. They're here because they believe in the mission. You have to decide what's most important to you. And what was most important to me is surrounding myself and my son with like-minded people who were ready to go to battle because that's what we're doing.